Riddle for Your Life is being developed and published by Catpix Studios. It's a fairly simple game when it comes to concept. You have to answer 10 riddles for a reward of either infinite money or immortality. Although, I don't think what you pick affects the riddle you start with. They are fairly varied in style, and some I wouldn't even consider riddles. They are more of a challenge instead. There's not a whole lot to talk about here, but I should probably get started before the Quizmaster makes me restart. First things first, this is more a question for you guys, or even the studio. Is the Quizmaster who you're playing as, or is he just talking to you? And in doing so, has a picture of your character's face below his name. It's pretty dumb for me to have to ask that, but I don't have a clue. Played the game for hours and couldn't tell the entire time. This game is still under development though, so it could just be a temporary thing. The riddles, the ones that are actual riddles, are full of light humor. For example, It's pretty funny, isn't it? They also have a more serious side. One that I continuously got stuck on was a give yourself the best odds type, where you have to distribute 50 white and 50 black balls into two containers. The black causes death, and the white is the opposite. It stumped me for hours every time it showed up. Yes, the riddles are random, in the order they appear. When it comes to the answers though, I have a slight issue. They don't change very often, meaning you can pretty much just write down or remember each answer and ease through the game. There's a few instances where the answers are randomized, like this one about the clock, and this one with the three doors, but it doesn't happen very often. Again, just want to remind everyone, this game is still under development, so anything is up for change. Moving on, the more challenge type riddles are my favorites. They include things like surviving for three minutes in a horde of zombies, or escaping a small area with the lock mechanism. My favorite, though, is that one I mentioned earlier with the light humor, and it makes sense why they showed it off in the Steam store. You have to survive two minutes against three zombies. It's really easy, but if you're like me on your first go, you'll hide behind the pig thinking it'll actually protect you. There are other types of riddles too that are more a mix of both. Like this one here. It's a rendition of the fox, chicken, and grain riddle that I'm sure you've all heard of as a kid one time or another, as well as a find the murderer riddle, which is a two truths, one lie type riddle with a room full of people and animals. I do have one complaint when it comes to the music, it fits the game well, but it gets pretty annoying after a while. Say 30 minutes, and you'll want to mute it. There's controller support too. Not that it needs it, because there's really only the mouse needed to play it. If you've ever played any of the old Legend of Zelda games, this one is styled just like that top down, objects that look like they're sitting on top of everything, and that perfect smooth pixelated look. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the experience. I wouldn't recommend playing it on little sleep, I made that mistake and it becomes so taxing on the brain. I do recommend it in general though. The riddles are fairly challenging except for the repetitive answers, which can easily and will most likely be fixed. The challenges made me laugh too with the light humor sprinkled in so it's worth a playthrough. Or a few. The Quizmaster decides that. <laughs> the game isn't currently out, as I'm sure you've assumed by now, but it does plan to release later this year on November 3rd. That's all for today, guys. Don't forget to smash that like button, and for more news, reviews, or whatever we choose, stay tuned to Nerdspeed.